Wellness Week is about to heat things up with heat therapy. It has many benefits, and Dr. Melina Jampolis joins us now to break down a few of them. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. It's I, I feel like Ginger Z doing the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you look kind of like you should be an Eskimo. We should, doing we should it get in some, the, uh, some water Pole. and a fan, and yes. you can be right inside here. So these are, I'm wearing a special kind of windbreaker. This is kind of a sweat suit. This is, yeah, you are wearing a sweat suit and I'm wearing one too underneath my outfit and I'm dying right now, but that's okay. But that's we'll good. Let, there's yeah. a benefit I, to well, that, isn't well, there? Well, there's not. So sweatsuits, uh, <laughs> maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, but sweatsuits historically have been used for weight loss when okay. people are, but it's really just water weight. You're not burning more fat. You might have a slight increase in your metabolism, mm -hmm. but it's really not going to be clinically significant. But, and, and it does does actually, if you work out in them, if you're young and healthy and you work out in them, it actually, it makes the workout a little bit harder so it actually can improve your fitness levels. But here's the catch. You sweat, I'm really sweating a lot in this. Um, you, and the mic is like stuck to my back. But no, when you sweat a lot, one of the ways that you cool your body is by the evaporation of sweat. Okay. So if I were wearing a full body sweatsuit and sweating a lot, your core body temperature can get much higher. So you're really at higher risk of dehydration. So you really need to hydrate yourself effectively and pay attention because you're sweating a lot. I can vouch for that. You're sweating a lot, but you're not cooling your your body as Got effectively. So. Okay, right, so, so there's no reason for therapies. me to be wearing this. <laughs> there are, yeah. No, no, no. So pretty much you can, you can take you're it. You're doing it for the show. I Especially the now. Show. No, yeah. I like how I mean, I look. you could go Don't run a few wrong. laps around the stage and maybe that would help. So heating something. pads, I mean, they have been around forever. We and George and I them. both have chairs with heating pads you, on it, them at home. So I know it just <laughs> aged us, but we, I, I love heating pads. I love that. No, that's great. But you just have regular heating pads because yeah. there's different types. So right. we have the We're, old school, which is the wa hot water. And I mean, you know, that's, that's it gets it, cold. Though. It does, that's the thing. It gets cold. It doesn't maintain the but temperature. It's charming. It is. And it, that's a cute little sweater. It yeah. looks yeah. a little bit like a dog sweater. But yep. and then the second. So that's an electric heating pad. Okay. And it really does help with aches and pains because it increases blood flow to the area, which delivers oxygen more effectively and remove some of the inflammatory toxins and lactic acid and that you and George you are building up. That they sit in their well, lazy that's, that's a, chairs. You have to be careful with the electric heating pads. I never said lazy chairs. Oh, I'm sorry. I just pictured <laughs> the one with the, uh, the not stick. Not that old. You, but you do have to be careful because there's a higher risk of burn with oh. an electric because it's a higher temperature and for long periods of time, especially if you're older or you fall asleep on it. So this is, so the newest this generation like is yeah. actually, this is an infrared heating pad. And oh. infrared is all the rage. Yep. And so this is different light waves. So it's at a much lower temperature, but the infrared rays penetrate deeper into the skin. So they improve and the muscles. Okay, so so they, what really, what are the benefits? Because Gelman's ben always talking about being right. in this infrared pod. Doesn't this help when you're sick? It does, we, it does. That's actually a great point. Infrared heat, because it actually goes deeper. So better stimulation of blood flow. It goes deeper into your muscle to recruit more blood vessels. So you get better de delivery of healing oxygen and nutrients and better removal of toxins. And it's much safer. So this is what hospitals use, actually. So maybe you said, just in case you and George fall asleep in the chair, you might want to switch to infrared. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, not no, that you're that old. It's been but, known you know, to happen. It's, it's been, been known to happen. I, I can only imagine. So, so I don't mean to bring George into this, but, you know, he's a big <laughs> hot yoga that. fan. Is that oh, right? Yeah, he does he? hot yoga at least once a week. Right. Which I... I'm not a fan of. I don't like to be around a lot of people hot, who are hot, sweating. Hot, and hot yoga's hot, been hot. a thing for a long hot time. Hot yoga, right? I mean, it's been around for thousands so of years good in medicine. Benefits, yeah, good but so, bad. again, the benefits. When we exercise in heat in general, we increase blood flow. The heat can relax your muscles. It can improve your flexibility. It's more stressful to the body, which is actually a good thing to exercise in heat. So you actually can improve fitness. There is some evidence that, especially with hot yoga, you can have improved improvements in your immune system. You can have improvements in the relaxation of the blood vessels. You can even have improvements in blood sugar control. And this applies to, and hot spinning, I actually, I can't do that either. I can barely spin, like having it in the heat is a little overwhelming. But there's research that shows you actually burn more carbohydrates when you spin in a hot climate, when you're, or in a hot room. Mm -hmm. So you do have to be careful if you're on a low carb diet, because you could get a little dizzy or lightheaded. But in general, again, if you're 
exercising in the heat, hydration is really key. So you have to pay attention to that. But I really do think there are some health benefits and there's also some fitness benefits. But you can also, I can't exercise in the heat either. I can't. So I just exercise and then I do the other modalities that we're talking yeah, about today to actually get the benefits of the heat therapy because they really are substantial. Heat is good. That's yeah. the takeaway. Heat is we're coming in. back with a magic trick, I think, right? Oh, yeah. When someone's oh, yeah. getting into the magic box. This is going to be All right, We'll be right back and talk about the benefits of soaking in a hot bath. Stay with us. <laughs> oh, we're back with Dr. Melita Jampolis and discussing the benefits of heat therapy with my Pop-Tart co-host. <laughs> I feel now, like I'm at field day all over again. People all right. Was it bringing back traumatic childhood memories? No, I no, was great bad. at Red okay. Rover. This okay. was oh, difficult this for me. This so comfy and yummy. Yeah, so feels people good. People love a good steam yeah. or a sauna, any kind of relaxing things, baths. Tell me some of the benefits of these things. Yeah, no, I mean, this is great. I mean, this is kind of like ancient therapy. You know, saunas have been around for thousands of years and really the purported benefits. I mean, you do from the heat, again, you get a stimulation of the immune system. It helps support a healthy immune response. It can help with blood flow and relaxation of your blood vessels. It can help manage stress. I mean, and relaxation, there's mood, and there's different types, right? So the traditional sauna gets hotter. And so there is a higher risk of kind of overheating in a traditional sauna because it has to heat the air around you. It doesn't actually heat your body directly. What? So it's like an oven. Am it's I cooking wearing you. A sauna? No, you're wearing. So this is the infrared sauna. Oh. So infrared again at a lower temperature. It's heating your body directly. It's not heating the air. Is it on? Do you feel it's it? Not I heating, do. It, he's getting on. I do. It's not heating the air. It's heating your body he directly. So it's actually more effective yeah. than regular. But and you can do this. Uh, you know, there's a lot. You can get this. I this can is do this a whole model. They have different <laughs> clinics. And then with the steam room, many. Yeah, and the yeah. gym, of course, you saw in a traditional gyms. I, the newer gyms probably have infrared, like the hip New York gyms, but a sauna, there really are benefits to that. And this is that. the sauna. No, here? this is the steam room oh. that you're going to be getting into. Oh. So the benefits of steam. It does look like steam, a Vegas trick. Yes. It does. Yeah, it does. We're going to cut. The, where's my rabbit? Um, the, but the, the benefits of steam are, especially if you have respiratory conditions, so you have problems with your lungs or inflammation, because it's moist heat, it's actually going to be more therapeutic. So are you gonna are you gonna get in I'd there love, now? I'd love to. Thank okay, you. Can we are talk we, about the bath? Stuff? We're talking about the bath after we see okay. her get in. Okay. All right. Because so, I yeah. want to tell you about no, my we, bath powder. Oh no! I've heard. Wait. Yeah. We have to see if okay. she's gonna get in. Okay. This is going to be. Plus, it's very good oh, for the wow. skin. Oh, oh wow! Oh, Allie, it's great for the skin. Oh, it's great. You're gonna great look radiant, hair. Allie, after you get wow. in that. So don't lock yeah. me in. She, no. She, no. We, we're, we're only, how long are we making her stay in there? Only as, enough to... As long uh, as it takes. As long as it takes. So again, well, we'll just leave her in for the rest of this show. So really, but... We just we, extended the show. We just extended the show. She's got to get the therapeutic <laughs> benefits. We want her skin to be radiant. Is she drawing on the yeah, face? Yeah. Is she, she's saying, I love this box. I want to stay in it she, all day. She is so happy that we're doing this for this yes. segment. She is really, really very pleased. So it's, we can, is, how's she doing in there? Does she's her, doing great. Does her skin look good? You have no idea. She's, she's got. She's fine. Okay. She's got stamina and endurance. She's got stamina. Go ahead, okay. Allie. Okay. No, is Allie, she, no problem. We have one she more gonna thing be okay? here. Okay, I guess she's not. Oh, she she seems to be saying no. Okay, so should we should we try to wrap this let's, up? With, well, no, we let's talk turn about on bath. the cryo. Here comes the cryo. No, yeah, really. <laughs> Put in the cold air and the, and the bubbles, the money. So, so I've been taking a bath with this uh, mustard powder. Is she, oh, it's, I, it's got all kinds of things. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. It's Spice nice. it up. So the last thing, I mean, and this is really old school. I mean, really, a hot bath. By the way, you can do your own steam. You don't. Have, Melina, take steam. your time and go through these. One by one. One by one. Uh, <laughs> would you like to smell the lavender? Ryan, I would. Uh, yeah. yeah. Allie, how are you? Just, okay. Should we give her some? Well, let's toss some lavender Actually, into the uh, steam room there. Actually, that would have because the lavender. Uh, by the way, if you put this is a great if you put dried herbs. In to steam, it can actually release the volatile organic. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Please don't hurt yourself, right? I but brought you a bouquet. What is it? See, are we putting that in there? Yeah. Just tell her it has added. It'll help her relax a little bit more. <laughs> the, uh, the, okay. She like she's doing. A, does she look relaxed? 
Does she? No, she's good. She's never okay. looked relaxed in her life. But again, <laughs> hot baths, they can stimulate blood right. flow. And when you add things like Epsom salt that has magnesium, oh, so, so it can help your body relax. Now, are you talking about this what... on your new podcast, these kinds of things? I'm talking about all sorts of stuff yeah. like this on the practically healthy. Because this is, and especially this, this is a practical way that you can get healthier at home. And by the way, managing your stress, helping with blood vessel relaxation, helping with, you know, support healthy immune function, and adding, <laughs> what do you add to your, is she coming up? Is she, is she we, okay We in better there? give her some relief. We better be giving yeah, somebody open, maybe stuff her, stick her head out a little bit. You can check out Dr. Molina's podcast, Practically Healthy, wherever you get your podcast. You want to... Oh. Oh, wow, that's going to leave. Oh, she's still Come in there? On. Okay. Well, Up we, next. uh... Is oh, she my gosh. A trooper. A very special good news story of the day. When we come back right after this, thank you, Dr. Thank you so much for having me.